is a kind of moment we're in at the start of something enormous where Africa will get electrified and most of that will be done with renewables and will meet all these people's basic needs like what we take for granted, which is full service electricity. Here's a whole ecosystem that knows how to churn out companies that have innovative ideas that could literally change the world, that meet both the development and the climate objectives. Knowledge sharing as well as leveraging resources between places like Berkeley, Stanford, San Francisco, you know, Silicon Valley, the entire sort of investment ecosystem here, and Africa, because with Africa you have such a great potential with entrepreneurship driven by need. And the people who are going to deliver it are what we call entrepreneurs, basically small businesses that will grow large, you know, and some of them will be hardware and tech vendors and some of them will be deployers and installers and some of them will be financiers and operations and maintenances and all of those businesses are opportunities for both Africans to solve African problems and for Americans to benefit by selling into that market. There's been a lot of effort on the part of the US uh, to expand um, to Africa and African markets but one of the challenges we find is uh, navigating and Power Africa gives access to that help navigate and also help give you the exposure to the partners that you need in order to make an impact. I think it's exciting to find companies that have new technologies and a lot to offer the developing world and get them connected to markets and opportunities and help them get the support that they need from Power Africa and the interagency partners and our other partners and the networks that we open up for them. It's very important because it enables both parties really meet and kind of um, synergize, kind of talk about things and Nigeria, just like we're doing now, will be able to bring to their knowledge much more. The kind of things we need, the kind of things that impact our environment, they can also model things after what we really need. There's an opportunity to also have this kind of uh, sharing across disciplines, so not just U.S. to Africa, but Africa to U.S. as well. But if we're learning from the U.S.'s experience, they actually started off as a completely decentralized system, right? And then over time, we slowly started building the centralized system. We made it a lot more reliable. And now we're kind of going back to this decentralized system with these microgrids, right? We're deploying a lot for reliability purposes. I think Africa is federal ground um, that can actually adapt and accelerate very quickly, but there has to be multiple areas that coordinate together. And I think a part of this program, you know, is making sure that all those players come together so that the adaptation from the Western world, you know, is easily implemented here, but developing a solution that works for Africa, and then that could be scaled very quickly.